Okay, people, so I gotta be real honest with you. After reading Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 152, in fact, during reading, in fact, making this video right now feels very bitter sweet. On one hand, Jujutsu Kaisen as a manga, as a story, as a piece of art for months now, probably upward of a year, has been phenomenal. From the Shibuya incident arc to everything that has happened with the Zenin clan, the build up to the culling games, all of that jazz has been just exceptional. Like Maki has in the last few chapters alone become my favorite character or my favorite female character shall I say of Jujutsu Kaisen it's been just insane she's become like a female guts from berserk type of deal like just absolutely a, a monster and I've loved it like honestly like the last few stuff with the Zenin clan and this battle and everything has been just crazy and I've just been on course to saying that at the end of the year I was gonna say Jujutsu Kaisen best manga like if it kept going at this pace at this insanity this level I was gonna say that 2021 JJK took it for me um in case you've been living under a rock in case you ain't here, Gege Akutami, the author of Jujutsu Kaisen, recently came out and said that Shonen Jump um, has kind of pushed her and told her that because of her health, because of her being behind and everything that's been going on with her, that she's going to have to take a break. They said that it could be um, as little as a month. It could be more, but basically she's going on an indefinite or there going on an indefinite hiatus until further notice. And, you know, I knew that knowledge going into this chapter and it was, it was really heartbreaking. It was really heartbreaking on top of the fact that this chapter was only nine pages. Now, with that being said, for a chapter that short, and maybe you could argue that that's the fan in me right now, what I'm about to say, but it almost felt like a completed, thought out, and insanely good chapter for only nine pages. Like, we had some major progression of basically ending to this arc, and just, it was actually fire for a nine-page chapter. Normally, when you have an event like that, because I've seen this happen a couple different times where we had really short chapters because the author couldn't complete the chapter in time, it'll be kind of like, eh, okay, whatever. Like, this actually felt completed in only nine pages. Shoutouts to Gega Akutami. Without further ado, people, um, until further notice, let's talk for one last time, for now, uh, some of that jujutsu Kaisen great no I'm gonna miss saying that for a while no matter how you know, get it done no matter Okay, people, so Jujutsu Kaisen 152 took place from where the last one left off of uh, basically Maki after the destruction, the demolition, the massacre of the Zenin clan. And where we're at right now, it starts off with her trying to speak with her mother because don't forget, she just assassinated and killed her father. She killed the well, Kukuru clan. She killed all of these people, the Hei. And seemingly, she took out Naoya in the last chapter. And then she tries to talk to her mother. And there was something in there that, honestly, I felt like it was unclear clear for some people and to be honest with you it's not confirmed or anything like that so it's not 100% but there was something very interesting that I felt like was a little bit off screened for a reason by Gage Akutami between the encounter of Maki and her mother because Maki approaches her mother she's trying to speak to her obviously all this shit went down but the mom is absolutely petrified I mean at the end of the day for starters appearance alone Maki looks like a scary scary ass person like the face everything she just she looks scary her uh, demeanor everything but on top of that the mom is just thinking like you just assassinated your father you just assassinate everybody stay away from me <laughs> It's no laughing matter by any means, so forgive me for that, but yeah, she was petrified. But you could definitely tell at the very least from her words that Maki, it's not like she's approaching her like, I'm gonna slash you up, bitch, or anything like that. She's like asking her questions like, why back then did you tell me to come back? Like, you know, she's asking her questions, just trying to get to the bottom of things, because don't forget, Maki wasn't like an evil person. Like, yeah, she had to do what needed to be done because she needed to resolve this shit with the Zenin clan, and on top of that, they were trying to kill her, and her father killed her sister, so yeah, she had to do some shit. Shit, but her mother like even though her mother talked shit to her it's not like her mother is approaching as a threat to kill her or anything like that she wasn't going to her right so that's something that kind of threw me off for the next part of the chapter because then we see off screen like somebody saying no and blood everywhere like blood dripping and shit like that so you're left to think that oh shit Maki she just did her mother in or she hurt her mother or something along the lines of that because we cut to the next scene and we see Naoya's bitch ass like oh my god somebody just stomped this dude the hell out like I am gonna lie 
why when I saw Naoya there, he's like, haha, she didn't get me. I'm still alive. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Like, oh my god. It wasn't that she couldn't finish you off. It's that she spared you a little bitch ass. Like, I, I know that's hard to understand, but you're an insect, okay? You're an insect. You used to bully her. Now you got bullied. And then upon him trying to escape as he's trying to crawl away, because obviously, you know, he gets back up. It's going to be a problem for Maki. Maki's mother shows up seemingly with her neck slashed with blood everywhere with a knife in her hands. Right there in that scene, you're led to believe, at first I was led to believe anyway, that Maki must have slashed her neck and she survived somehow. But then all of a sudden she goes and she stabs Naoya in the back and he's calling her trash and shit like that. As he's trying to get away, he can't use any curse energy because Maki put the beats on dude and the mother stabs him in the back. So you're kind of there left to think like, wait a minute. So Maki tried to kill her mother, the mother got away and then she went and stabbed Naoya. I'm guessing, to be honest with you, what happened off screen was that Maki, as she was approaching the mother, the mother slashed her own throat and then stumbled away into where Naoya was and then did him in. I don't think Maki hurt her mother. Like, Maki, as crazy as she's gotten, as berserk as she's been the last few chapters, that's still not in her character to attack her mother that, yeah, her mother says some rough shit to her, but the reason she attacked all those other people was they were trying to kill her and they killed her sister. The mother wasn't posing a threat. She was trying to ask her mother questions. Off screen, guarantee the mother slashed her own throat and then, because she did love Maki, it's just like, yo, this was all too much and politics basically led to what she did. I think, I truly believe the mother did that to herself because then following the mother stabbing Naoya in the back she thinks back to a time of her with Mai and Maki as they were children and she says no I am grateful I gave birth to you and that was so sad because basically the mother was stuck between a rock and a hard place her role and her duty to the Zanin clan and to her husband that basically was a piece of shit and shitted on his children but she loved her children and it showed at the very end that's why she did Naoya in that's why when she you know she probably slashed her own throat like I can't do it you know everything is ruined I'd rather take my own life than to have to go up against my daughter or just anything in general to do with conflict with my daughter so very dark poetically beautiful in a twisted way like wow honestly this was hands down the Zanin clan massacre just like I titled in my last video this was like the Uchiha massacre this was the Zanin clan massacre like everybody got it fam like and then the end the way it happened with the mom like wow and then as Maki is walking away she's carrying Mai over her shoulder Momo sees and Momo just starts freaking out I told you not to go. No. And I don't blame you. We lost a baddie there. Maki lost a sister. Maki is just absolutely like, yo, she's not even recognizable anymore. Like, what has Gege done to this poor girl? And Maki says, she's in your hands now. Because obviously Maki is on a quest and a mission. On top of the fact that the culling games is coming up. And it's just tragedy after tragedy and then we get that final description from the narrator that yeah <laughs> your bodies hit the floor because apparently it said does any members not present would die violent deaths because we get the narration on the corner of the final page that says that all the Zenin clan members that were not present would eventually die violent deaths which basically alludes that Maki went and hunted down all the remaining members of the Zenin clan and I believe they said it was six of the Hei and 21 of the Kukuru um she hunted them down I would love I'm not even gonna a lie like if you're gonna give us an extra episode an OVA hell you want to give us filler at whatever season this would be season three or some shit like that please by all means give us this I, I wouldn't mind a movie like a side movie whatever of Maki just hunting down the rest of the Zenin clan like that sounds so hype it, it, I don't know why get it well we know what's happening right now like that probably would have been displayed in this chapter as well just her hunting the last few down but god damn that sounds so hype like yo Maki has become a mixture of like a guts meets Itachi Uchiha all in a female version like and apparently there was no weapons or any remains around the bodies of the victims but there was traces of cursed energy from a particular tool obviously Maki has been wielding around the you know recreation that Mai did of Toji's weapon so yeah Maki did them in and it got to the point where the other clans the Gojo clan and the Kamo clan um they, they got together and they were like yo let's get rid of the Zenin clan they shouldn't be a part of the big three clans anymore like we they're they're done i mean just realistically at this point who's left of the clan if she hunted down the remaining members it's basically maki and megumi but apparently the jujutsu headquarters have not given their decision they basically kept their verdict on hold and that's the end of the very short-lived chapter but my golly it was it was impactful the end of the zenin clan maki got her revenge she did something a little bit different than what she set out to do she set out to rule the clan Clan. instead she massacred the clan like can't beat them don't join them murder them honestly overall what a cap to a fantastically brutal and dark 
arc Maki's character going down one of the darkest roads you possibly can go and man I'm not even gonna lie I'm gonna really miss Jujutsu Kaisen you know obviously Gege get better I'm not rushing by any means but I cannot wait until we get the return if it's three months from now whatever when it does I'm gonna let y'all know immediately check out my Forever News episodes when they drop because yeah I will let you guys know when it's coming back because I'm gonna miss this shit so much this has been a treat been a new era and jump and Maki I'm gonna miss you girl but I'm curious what you guys thought of the final chapter for now of Jujutsu Kaisen 152 how did you feel about the cap on the Zenin clan how did you feel about Maki taking them down massacring her whole damn clan and your thoughts on what happened with the mother do you think that the mother actually slashed her own throat before going and killing Naoya or Maki did that and your overall thoughts and expectations for Jujutsu Kaisen 153 and beyond can't wait for it to return that's all I have for this one though thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like I'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on Twitter Instagram hit that bell to get all notifications and if you want to follow any of my other social media links in the description below I'm Fenever World and as always people have an awesome day and remember the golden rule anime and manga for life boy have an awesome day peace in and Jujutsu Kaisen for the one time one more time we gotta say it great Maki, you did your damn thing. The end of the Zenin clan. Uh. <laughs>